Hey everybody, Uncle Jesse here. I just finished with my HoloLens demo here at the Microsoft Store in Midtown Manhattan. This was really cool. Cannot emphasize that enough. They have really done a great job with the demo. Let me give you a little bit of a breakdown of what happened during that. I couldn't actually bring in any camera equipment with me, unfortunately. I really did want to record that entire process. Uh, but it started off with an orientation where it just explains how you actually put on the device and how you interact, basically doing your single click interaction with the HoloLens and the environment. Uh, from there, there were three different stations that I was able to check out. The first one was all about how uh, I could interact with this toolkit, so to speak, where there was a number of different uh, scenarios that I could play with. So there was one that was a, um, uh, a toy car that you could put on the ground and then I could interact with uh, spray, can uh, sp spray cans where I could paint different aspects of the car. And I apologize, I'm outside in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, I was trying to record in the store, but the music is just a little loud for me to record and it's not much better out here. Um, but it was really interesting. I mean, you could pin things on different walls. Uh, once they were pinned, you could completely look away. And then when you look back again, they're in the same location. You can walk and move around items once you've pinned them in a space. You can resize items. Uh, it was very, very interesting to see and probably have multiple application uses for it. One thing that they did call out was that there was this little sign that we were interacting with and then we pinned it to the wall and they were saying, oh, well, this is actually how you could in real life see before 3D printing an item, uh, how it would actually fit within the scale of the environment that you're working in. So that particular sign, they had a 3D printed model of it that you could also compare it against versus the virtual augmented reality uh, up on the wall. Very cool. The next station was all about gaming. So it was showing you how uh, the game it was show it was showing you the game that was shown back at E3 in 2015, sort of like a Space Invaders type game, where uh, it, these aliens are breaking through the wall and you have to shoot them with a the little clicker that's in your hand. Uh, and then it's also using voice commands. What I didn't realize was that the HoloLens also has audio built into it. So it's, it's feeding you information as you're playing. Uh, it sounded like it had a bit of surround sound type aspects with it because I could hear different things. To, uh, depending on what uh, ear it was coming from. Also, there was visual indicators showing me where I needed to be looking in the room. Um, but it was just an interesting overall experience. Uh, I was also the top scoring uh, person on the leaderboard. No surprise there. Uh, but it was <laughs> it was a really fun game. Surprising. I, I didn't think it was going to be that fun to play, uh, but it really was a fun game to try out. Uh, also, you had this mechanic that was kind of like Quantum Break where you could freeze time. And then I would freeze time and I could actually zoom in, not zoom in, but walk in and look at these particular enemies. And it wasn't just, you know, back and forth. You could look all around them. You could go in front of them, you could go behind them. It was very cool. The other thing that I really liked about the game was that if you shot and missed, it would break a hole in the wall. So you're in this little squared off room, but it, would, it was making it really seem like you busted a hole through the wall. And if you moved your head, the, the tilting sensors, you could actually look through the hole that was busted through. Uh, actually reminded me of a guy that created a little demo using the Wii, God, it must have been five plus years ago, six years ago, um, where he inverted the sensors and created this head tracking motion for gaming. I don't know if that was ever applied anywhere. Maybe he is working on this project. But it was looked like it was really utilizing that and it would be amazing for gaming. Just absolutely amazing for gaming. Uh, the next thing and then the last little room that I tried out was all about how you can view a product in an augmented space. So I was looking at a tabletop. That tabletop all of a sudden lit up and a watch appeared. Uh, and then I could view a, a larger version of the watch, a smaller version, as well as see an expanded version of all the components that made up that watch. So if you think of like a, a car engine, you could have some very interesting use cases, especially if you're a tinkerer, uh, where I can then get all different, zoom into different areas, uh, see comments and highlights of text that are available there. Uh, available there. Also, it was showing you, it was almost like a presentation mode where you could define those presentations or those steps that were being created. Or if I wanted to um, see the different places that were most viewed on that particular watch and then add a tool tip so that someone could see more information about that most used or most focused on aspect of that watch. I could do that. 
Very interesting. Uh, and then the last bit that they showed in that space was also for, a, let's say, educational purposes, where it wasn't just limited to the tabletop itself. It expanded to the entire room, and I could view and look around the entire universe, which is very cool. So I could see all the planets rotating around the sun. Uh, I could step right into them, walk in closer. It was very cool. It'd be very interesting to see for teachers uh, and something like that. Uh, again, very interesting use case. I was very impressed by what I saw. Uh, very ex excited to see what Microsoft comes out with and announces further on development with that and what other developers make with the HoloLens. Right now, right now the field viewing is uh, a little bit limiting. So when you have the whole headset on, there's only a small space that you're actually seeing augmented reality in. I think with probably within the next year before they actually create a finalized version of this that they're going to actually sell out to consumers, that space will become larger and larger as this product expands if they continue to develop on it. It was just very interesting. It was very interesting to see and try out. I really hope you know they make this available at other Microsoft stores for other folks to check out. It was just a great experience. Um, and looking forward to seeing what they do with it, what other developers do with it, and what it's going to what it's going to make uh, available in terms of gaming. I mean, we're big gamers for most people that are watching this, and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly interested in seeing what they produce. So let me know what you guys think if you're interested in the Hololens, in augmented reality, in VR as well. I mean, hell, right behind me, they've got the HTC Vive where you can go and check that out in person, as well as they've got an Oculus in here. Um, so it's very, very cool that they're actively investing all this time and effort into this type of technology. So let me know what you guys think if you're interested in that. Uh, also, if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. And again, leave me some comments. Love chatting with you guys. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.